welcome here today to Cameraland TV and with us in studio we have Aubrey Crickler, who is the Canon Consumer Product Manager for Canon South Africa. Welcome. Good morning, man. Thanks for having me. It's great to be back in the Mother City for a change. I always give, do these things up more than Kauteng, but it's nice being down here. I must tell you, it's my hometown. Well, you've uh, brought, brought us some rainy weather, so yeah, we appreciate that. I'll bring you some more next time. That'll be great. <laughs> we won't complain. <laughs> Good stuff. Cool. So let's get into it. We're here today to reveal the new Canon EOS M100 mirrorless camera. And uh, this is the latest iteration of Canon's mirrorless range. And um, today, in fact, uh, the 29th of August 2017 is the embargo date. So these cameras have just been released. This is the very first look at the physical models of these cameras. And they come in three uh, iterations. Well, we have three iterations of them here. The one is black over here, and we have an 18 to 150 millimeter lens on it. And this one in the middle is white, and it has a very unique 35 millimeter super macro lens on it, which has some very interesting features we'll speak about later. And over here we have the silver one with the more standard 15 to 45 millimeter lens on it. So, Aubrey, tell us uh, a little bit why mirrorless? Well, if you look at what's happening to the, to the DSLR market, people around the world are realizing, walking around with a bulky DSLR, is not just difficult because it's a heavy item, um, it's also kind of dangerous. When people see you in the streets with the DSLR, nine times out of ten, you're not going to go home with it. Uh, we all like to go home with it, but sometimes it disappears. Also, traveling with, with these cameras is becoming difficult. Um, our airlines are becoming stricter with weight allowances, so you can't take a big DSLR with you. Now, this is where we're starting to play. Uh, if you look at the mirrorless market in Japan, for instance, where our, our, home, our home country is, is Canon, is 45% of your DSLR market has been taken over by mirrorless. People are realizing, I want the smaller form factor, but I still want the quality that a normal EOS, that a normal DSLR will give you. I still want the creative functions from a normal DSLR. So people are realizing smaller might be better. It's difficult to, to put that into South African perspective, because as South Africans, bigger is better. But having this small form factor carrying around with you is absolutely amazing because it's light, it's great features, and very easy to use. I think just in general, people are tending to camera carry around a camera um, more frequently. I mean, even if it's just your cell phone camera, I think people are getting used to having the ability to take a photograph um, at any instant uh, more regularly than they ever were. And it makes sense that cameras would become smaller, and the quality of the camera cannot be sacrificed, and people want a camera that they're able to you know, put aside uh, very quickly into a bag, carry it with them to any event, not necessarily events that they know they're going to get great photographs, but they want a camera that they can have with them all the time, be it in the cubbyhole of their car, or into their uh, camera bag, or another bag of sorts with a protected camera, etc. So it does make sense that Porsche Mirrorless has made the form factor of the camera a lot smaller and it's making it easier for people to keep a good quality camera with them uh, at all times. Yeah, so um, tell us a little bit about the range of uh, Canon's mirrorless cameras. We started off a while ago with the EOS M1. Uh, M1 was the first mirrorless we launched. Since then the range has grown quite a lot because of the importance of the category. Um, the range was M100, M3, M6 which was released just uh, last year and M5. At this stage, the M100 fits into the range, it will replace M10. M10 um, is becoming end of life, it will be in stores till about the end of the year. This will then replace M10, M3 is falling away. So if you look at the range, sort of January next year, we'll have M100, uh, M6 and M5. M6, M5 slightly more up in the range, so it's aimed at the guys, sort of 70, 70, 80 D user, more your amateur type consumer. This is aimed at the, the entry, level, entry level guy who's realized my cell phone takes awesome pictures, but I want to grow. I want to grow myself and my business. Great. So it seems like you know this is a great camera for people who love the idea of getting their photographs uh, online and uh, don't know too much about photography. Um, and this is a place to start Absolutely. with a high quality camera, still got interchangeable lenses, and has many features, which I'm sure you're going to tell us about. Tell us uh, you know, a little bit about what is special about the M100. Well, if I take M100 versus M10, the, the great thing about it is we've added a functionality called dual pixel autofocus. So dual pixel autofocus was first released about two years ago in C300, which is EOS Cinema Video Camera. 250,000 Rand was the tech at those stage. Uh, bringing the price down quite a lot to below 10K for these guys, you've now got dual pixel autofocus in these. Dual pixel autofocus, every single pixel on your sensor can either focus 
or it can capture an image, which if you, if you put it in layman's terms, 24 million focus, focused little diodes in here, your videos, your photos, everything will be crispy, it'll be sharp, and it'll be brilliant. Wonderful. So who do you think that this camera is really aimed at? It's aimed at the guys that, that started off with cell phones and is now going to grow. Um, the guys we, we, we started to talk to, um, vloggers. Guys that take videos of themselves. Now, for me and for you, that's an alien concept, but we're old school. For the newer guys coming out there, vlogging is the thing to do. And if I can just move that up the tag. So now you have a camera where you can instantly vlog. The great thing with these, Brian, is they've got Wi Fi functionality. Connect them to your cell phone, where I am, wherever I'm traveling, upload directly from camera to cell phone, book into the cloud. You're on Facebook, you're on YouTube instantaneously. That's what the younger generation wants. Absolutely. So I think these are cameras that. You know, our, our young viewers who are really into vlogging, creating their own YouTube channels, um, maybe have Instagram accounts, uh, Facebook accounts, all those online uh, social media type uh, accounts where they want to put their media, Upload. whether it be just for day to day uh, for their own purpose or whether it's actually something that they're trying to create, a business that they're trying to yep. create. This is a, a, a place to start. This Absolutely. is definitely the place to start. Absolutely. To start off with really good high quality images, whether they be video or stills for those type of uh, businesses. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned, sorry for interrupting you, uh, but I'm glad you mentioned the business point because as you grow your business, what you upload, because there's so much on the cloud, there's so much being uploaded on a daily basis, and you've got to upload the best quality, the best, absolutely. And guys are realizing the, the, the cell phone, not good enough. Right. So I know we said we're going to talk a little bit about this 35 millimeter macro lens. And you know, this, is, this camera's got a fantastic amount of auto features in it, which are going to help those people entering the game of vlog, vlogging or, uh, or, or using the camera to, to shoot stills. Um, to to set the camera to capture the image that you really have in your mind's eye. Uh, one of the features that I saw is a food feature, which I'm sure a macro lens such as the 35 mm is it's really good. going to come in handy for. Look, look the food feature for our South Africans is kind of alien. Who takes pictures of your food? And we had a bribe for growing up. So it's, it's coming across from Japanese guys because they like taking pictures of your food. And especially the younger generation are taking pictures of their food. Now, I'm going to do the following, hopefully not blinding our, our video camera over there, but what this camera has, this has got a video, a, a light. It's got a macro light built into the, into the lens. Now imagine taking food pictures, and because you're so close with food pictures, you need to be able to light your subject. So that, that does it for you. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Fantastic, and I'm sure the images you're going to get out of that are going to make people salivate. <laughs> <laughs> I like your way of thinking. So, Aubrey, thank you very much you're for welcome. coming in today to uh, reveal these wonderful cameras to us. And uh, everybody out there, this has been the reveal of the Canon EOS M100 mirrorless camera. If you're interested, they should be on the shelves uh, late September, hopefully, and possibly only in October. But uh, please subscribe to our channel for updates and uh, like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. Cheers.